Okay, in this video, I'm going to explain about why we have differently when the elevator moving. In this picture, we have four situation. Um, we have normal weight condition, greater than normal weight, less than normal weight, and zero weight. In normal weight condition, the elevator on the rest or constant velocity condition. In this case, acceleration is equal to 0 m per second square. They are not moving. So, therefore, we are going to draw the forces. The downward force is gravity, usually is destined mg, for the mass times acceleration due to gravity. And then we have Normal force pushes up because we know we are not flying through of the elevator. So those only two forces. In this case, the elevator in the rest or constant velocity condition, and the Newton for slow is applied. We put sigma f is equal to zero because the elevator is on the rest or constant velocity, the normal force is equal to weight force. And the next case, the elevator is speeding up and have acceleration. The elevator is speeding up in positive direction. And we have put down here, the acceleration is not 0 m per second squared. So, now we can draw the force again. We have force of width which is mg and upward direction which is normal force. And we put again sigma f is equal to mass times acceleration. Because the acceleration is not zero, so we can put fn in positive direction and minus mg because the weight force in negative direction and equal to positive ma because the elevator speeding up to upward so once again fn is equal to mg plus ma and now you can see when the speeding upward the normal force is greater than your weight case the elevator is moving down and have acceleration the elevator speeding up in negative direction and again we put the acceleration is not equal to zero meter per second squared and we can put the force again we have normal force push up and weight force pulling down which is mg and we put again sigma f is equal to mass times acceleration because the elevator is accelerating downward first we can put normal force minus weight equal minus ma then normal force equal to weight force minus ma so you can see when the elevator moving down with acceleration the normal force is lesser and weight force in this case the cable is broken so the elevator and the person inside the elevator will experience free fall in free fall the person will experience an acceleration of the earth gravitational and then we can draw again the forces up direction for normal force and down direction for weight force so because the person in free fall it will be go to downward direction and then we can put sigma f equal to ma and then weight force minus normal force equal ma and next we try to find out what the normal force is we put normal force equal to weight force and minus ma 
because the elevator a negative direction and then we can know in the free fall motion the acceleration is equal to gravity so normal force equal to mg minus mg and normal force is equal to zero and the person is will be weightless Okay, for now I want to do some experiment. Before that, I want to um, prepare the tools. I have cars and attach to the yarn, and the yarn attach to the hook, and then I have the force. It will be attached to the hook, and then I have mesh and it will um, put load to the car and I use stopwatch for compare the times of acceleration every experiment from Newton law A equal to FM is the bigger mass of object the acceleration will be smaller <laughs>